Hey guys, Gassy TV here with another Path of Exile video, and today we're going to talk about skeleton archers. Skeleton archers, baby. In the patch notes, they received 15% more damage. Necromancers, they did lose about a little bit of attack speed, but gave us 10% more damage on minus aggression, as well as the possibility through unholy might to get wither effect as well as 100% conversion into chaos for free without requiring us to use Corrupted Trigrip, for example. Very excited. However, there were some problems that occurred. Let me take you down through the road on this one. The journey begun with 3.24 coming in with some magnificent buffs that were so beautiful, such as leeching for necromancers from our minions that's coming from the Baron Helmet, but without the requirement of a thousand strength. Everyone was so crazy hyped about this. Then we saw the Skeleton Archers receives 15% more damage and the unholy might changes and everyone was like yes let's finally do a skeleton archer poison build we can even look at the skeleton archer for the guardian for elemental let's have a look at it let's go and then you know we started path of building we started theory crafting we had such good ideas and then as soon as we started getting the numbers in front of us oh man so the disappointment is very 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 rough the problem with the skeleton archer has less to do with the fact that they gave us a quite significant buff of 15 percent more damage now in most cases 15 percent more damage would actually be enough to make them really really strong problem is it's not not even close and the reason for that is because back in 3.19 we had an overwhelming play, uh, player base going ham at playing mage skeletons. So what did they do is that they decided to shake up the meta. And the best way to make sure people didn't play skeletons, or at least lessen the amount of people playing it, was obviously to make them deal approximately 5% less at level 1 and 25% less damage at level 20. Now this alone would have been quite significant to move people away from mage skeletons. They also upped the mana cost quite significantly. But then they did this change here. Um, so mini life and damage is unchanged in the very early game, but it's 30% lower in mid action, 20% lower at level 20 for the mini skill, and roughly 10% lower at level 30. So they already cut down the life scalings and, and generally just basically destroyed the ability from here. This and this change would have been enough to shake up the meta and destroy the build. The problem is that they added this line. A double whammy wasn't enough. They had to triple down on that to make sure they stayed six feet deep. Problem is that scaling uh, 50% additive damage, that hurts more than just the mage skeletons. That affected the melee skeletons, which were doing tremendous damage. They actually still, pre still do pretty good damage. Um, and But most importantly, they hurt skeleton archers, which has ever since Heisley not ever been able to perform and the only league where they performed well in was 3.18, where people played a ton of mage skeletons. And the reason we never touched the archers was because the mages were outperforming them with miles between the differences of those two. So why we never touched the archers was simple. There were better options with the actual skelly gem back then. And now that we're looking at archer skeletons, they have removed the added damage of 50%. So what does the 50% more added damage do? Let me give you an example. I'm going to give you guys the trusted Cleave. Cleave itself has an effective added damage of 125 up to 237% added damage. This basically means that whenever you have added flat damage modifiers into Cleave, you will have a really good scaling of those modifiers, allowing you to increase the base damage of which your increases and your multiplicative more damage modifiers would then scale the base damage. And that base damage is getting significantly boosted by the effectiveness of added damage. Skeletons just had that completely stripped away. So if you give them 10 flat damage, they would get 10 flat damage, nothing more, nothing less. So this means that scaling them from, like, for example, the elemental approach to giving them uh, flat damage across the board and guardian version with a triple um, uh, elemental relics, for example is very lower or much lower in terms of value compared to pretty much any other mini build in the game because the auras and everything you're providing them is worthless not worthless but worth less 
And this then obviously scales further to the point where all of your increases and your your all the scalings that you're doing on top of this is also lowered because the base is not increased to the point where it can be scaled, which weaves us back to the 15% more damage. Basically, the math is very simple. If you multiply zero by 1.15, the answer is still zero. And that is the biggest problem with this. Um, and when it comes to the poison approach, yes, you get free conversion. Wow. Yes, you get wither. Wow. The problem is the way poison will work is that you want to add enough damage to scale that for the poisons to be strong enough to actually matter. The skeleton archers has no, no damage to scale from despite this buff and because of the lack of added flat damage to scale them further, they are going to be subpar in terms of performance. And this is a very, very sad moment. I don't know how they plan on fixing this because the problem is that the mechanic, the functionality of the maze skeletons is that if they give this modifier back to the maze skeleton with the recent changes, they might come back to becoming meta. So how would they then fix it? My recommendation now that the skeletons or the transfigured gems are actually separate gems would be that the archer skeletons would simply have a different scaling. We have never, and I repeat, never cared about playing archer skeletons because any time that has been a remotely reasonable or a feasible idea, another version of the very same skill has been significantly better. I would love to see Archer Skeletons. I love the thematic of it. It reminds me a lot about Diablo 2. I would genuinely love to play Archer Skeletons. I was super excited when I saw this in the patch notes, only to be left extremely disappointed because of this specific line. And I'm very upset about this, and I hope they're going to look into it. So the TLDR or the uh, the result of my rant here is that Archer Skeleton looked promising and as soon as I started looking at the numbers, they just fell flat on the ground and I was, uh, you know, at the brink of crying. It's just very, very upsetting. So that is the reason why the Skeleton Archer won't work. And again, to reiterate and repeat myself, this modifier here means that things like Envy Aura, which comes from uh, Severed in Sleep or United in Dream, for example, this modifier that gives us the Envy skill is allowing us to get a ton of flat damage to our minions, which is a super good effective way, which is actually how SRS Poison, for example, used to work, or still is working, actually, and is actually very, very good. It's scaled, but because we only get what the number is saying without actually being able to scale the flat from it, then we are not just getting a poor modifier we can't really do much with, it also comes at a great cost. And it all in all, just ends up with the build being significantly inferior compared to pretty much anything else that we have access to in the game. So why would we play Archer Skeleton at that point? Um, now I'm very happy with most of the changes GG has presented to us for 3.24, uh, especially when it comes to minion stuffs. Uh, but I will say this, when it comes to Archer Skeletons, they, they need to step up their game and make something happen because the current state of the Archer Skeletons is... Um, yeah, it's just sad. What is not sad, however, is the fact that we're almost at 100,000 subscribers here on this YouTube channel. So big shout out to my YouTube editor, Mr. Kikis himself, and all the guys out there clicking that follow button, subscribe for more content. It, it really means a lot to me that you guys are doing that. It doesn't cost you anything. It takes two seconds, and I do appreciate it because it does support the stream and the channel quite a lot. Enough of that. I'll catch you guys in the next video. So till then, stay safe. Keep rocking.